Hi guys, welcome. I just got a message, a message back from Derek Tyler that he fixed the awesome configuration. So let's boot up Carly. That's the one we put it on. We could have put it on Garuda or Endeavor OS or ALCI or right, Art Clicks, anything. And um, I did already an update. Well, a pseudo back my mind is this. You and we have the DTOS core repo there, right? So that's um, been taken care of, which means I hope, but watch out, Arclix is not anything else, right? You have to learn the distro. In this case, I've learned that it's not ETC scale, and the guys from Arclix know what the word scale means. If you put something in there and you make a user, you create a user or you are going to install your operating system, this content will go to right, to the user, to the newly created user. Anything in there will go to there. Now, he has created another folder for him, DTOS. And in DTOS, basically we see the same things. Bash RC, his bash RC, his commands, Doom Doctor, right? Doom Upgrade, right? It sounds like Doctor Who <laughs> in my mind. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, I'm a fan. So, voila. so these things matter. I need to have these things. If I want his Xmonad, I need to have that file. If I want his awesome, let's see, Lane is now present. And that was the issue dot config right or everything it's handpick be your sherlock holmes one at a time see what happens that's how you learn the most or just say whatever it's a virtual machine control c go to eric and say control v and replace all basically that's our command scale that we use right everything that's in etc scale goes to your home directory and the black things the things are a little bit darker have been overwritten you see immediately what's affected but once you go in there it's not colored anymore but things in here have been affected for sure and the only thing i'm gonna do is give some feedback to Derek. look awesome is working let's hope so so i can give him good news this by the way is the arch Linux tweak tool i've just made a video and i've shown you how to be creative how to make this a simple background which is nice in design nice little soft background and then a logo or whatever logo you put on there it's entirely up to you right and i've made a video and it's all shared on discord on the share your configuration channel you can have this xc xcf right it's a gimp story voila Let's go to awesome. One, two, three. Oof. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> ha, right? <laughs> now, keyboard shortcuts. Super return. And here we have the color scripts. Is it still called color script? Yes, color script. And you do random if you do minus R. This is something, I don't know. So this is still there, uh, Derek. So if you can figure that one out, desktop manager is not active. Don't know where that's coming from. Never seen that before. Minus R, right? Minus R, minus R, minus R, minus R, minus R. Random. And each time you open something up, if you open a terminal, it's going to be different. That's the minus R. Now, Super Shift Q. No, nope, that's not it. Super C. No, I need to get rid of all these screens. But the message is clear. Awesome is working, guys. And um, have fun exploring code from somebody else. Because, of course, that's, that's the fun. The file manager. Where's the file manager? 
Open terminal, close window, move window. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe I can ah, close window. Super shift C. That was it. Super shift C. Super shift and then C C C C C C C. Okay, working fine. And maybe yeah, that's one of the things you might want to change uh, is key bindings. Certainly, if you have totally different keyboards, then that might be first issue of the day. But go ahead and have a look at what's inside this awesome folder. How did he achieve these colors? Why is the font like it is? Why is this bar small? Why is this capital letters? Why is this white? I mean, there's lots of things to learn. And here's a little button, tile, floating, max magnifier. What's all this about? Have fun learning about this awesome system. Exit. Cheers, guys.